called you Orange Team. Shame on me. Bull Team, how you doing? First full day of the cruise, huh? Who is totally exhausted? What a great mood to be in to watch some comedy. Are you enjoying Retro Day? As you can see, we are all dressed like our parents dressed us when we were seven years old. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jim Bosier managed to shame three out of four of us into dressing a little better tonight, but I think only, only, but only, one of us, only one of us has true personality. That's here right. Stage. Well, yeah, the professor tried to build a catapult to get him off the island, and he ended up here. <laughs> Yes, ah. it's more my like, dry run than cook you, you literally look like a pile of my laundry stood up and came out on stage. Stenches laundry, that's the theme. <laughs> you're, you're, Drew's wearing a towel. Yeah. Yeah. And you could be too. Yeah, that's part of the dress code on the ship. <laughs> or it's allowed. It's an allowed environment. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's appropriate. Oh, you're, oh, your nails look great. You get those done? Thank yeah. you. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. I've got stickers on, on my big toes. There's a cat and then there's a bird forever chasing after one another. <laughs> just like you're much like dizzy. Yeah, just, much like all feet. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like all big toes. They're in love with each other, but they can never be together. <laughs> Or they won't they? They won't. Yeah. They, can be, they can be pretty close together, though. You just put your yeah. feet together and they're kind of... Mm -hmm. not together. Yeah. Anyways... <laughs> this has been a Foot Fetish Minute with the part of it. We're just warming you up for the comedy. Yeah. By setting the bar very low. <laughs> okay, by the way, the right answer to are you enjoying Retro Day is yay verily. Well, first of all, have you all properly greeted your team leader? Yes. Let's have a look at you. Let's, let's see, sir. Have you been repping various bits of retro? What do we got? But retro? Oh, we got some hokas, which isn't really... I mean, those are... Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty retro. Right. 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 There we go. Oh, wow. We're all over the timeline here. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, wow. You see Evil Can Evil? This isn't any uh, sort of official thing, but because I personally, like I think probably every male my age and within five years on either side grew up with the Evil Can Evil stunt cycle. Yeah. I'd like to congratulate our Evil Can Evil who has won a thousand piece Raven's Burger of tractors to evil Knievel. Yeah. <laughs> so it would be interesting to see how this puzzle ends up. Anybody, anybody who had this on their bingo card, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> it does sound like an improv prompt. Okay, I want evil Knievel riding a tractor on a cruise ship. <laughs> That's not a real prompt. Uh, anybody else got any, uh, stuff? One thing, is it not March 10th? It is, it is March 10th. Ah, so it is. Is it not a certain principal sorority ah, whose birthday might be on March 10th? Ah, Thank you very much. I just keep getting older, and this cruise just keeps reminding me in many, many ways. 59 years young. 59 years young. It's Retro Paul today. Yeah. Don't age me anymore. No. Yeah. 60, 61. Six, 65? I don't look a day over 67. A sprightly 86. Um, okay. Anybody else have any shit to say about my age? No. Um, okay. You well, look great. Time. I was just wondering if you were actually 59. No, I'm not. No, he's not 59. I am 54 years old and proud of it. Yeah. Oh. 
54 is the new 53. For you. <laughs> and what's it feel like to still be young, you guys? Oh, it's great. They're like a chicken. <laughs> In the spring. Just like a chicken, forever chasing it around each other. Just like two toes, yeah. always around and around. Well, I don't know how we got here, but it is at this point in time for our morning announcements. Woo! Welcome to day two. We are at sea. Duh. Uh, we've been told uh, the online reservation system, like through the Navigator app, if you want to make a reservation for Morimoto by Sea and the Pinnacle Grill, apparently the online version is not working. It is broken all the way at the source on, on land. They are working to fix that. In the meantime, if you wish to make reservations at either of those restaurants, uh, you can call 88 or visit the actual restaurant itself and talk to the maitre d'. And Tara is running down the aisle to yell at me. Probably oh, my boy. You're wrong. Oh. oh. What a surprise. Here, wait, let's just give a yeah. microphone to Tara. Finally. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Tara, what the what's going on? Tara! 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 I love you, Tom! Oh, I love you, too. Thanks, yeah. everybody. If you'd like to make a dining reservation for Morimoto, etc., you can now do so in the Navigator app, despite what Paul just said. Yeah. Don't go anywhere, Tara. Because we're being more accurate than I am. Here again for all um, 
all events happening here in this room throughout the week. That said, they are intended for people who uh, need the use of them. If you do not need them, you do not need to touch them and mess with them and move them somewhere else and things like that. That is a kind request from the Joko Cruz staff, but uh, they will be available. Thank you for your cooperation with that. And that ends our morning announcements. So, we had a stand-up lined up for Joko Cruz 2024, Sabrina Wu. Very much looking forward to that. Sabrina ended up getting a schedule conflict and had to back out a couple of months ago. Very sad. However, friend of the cruise, Maria Bamford, was available. And so we booked Maria at what we thought was the last minute. And we were very excited to have Maria back on the ship. She was very excited to do that. She was, she was very much looking forward to it. And then on Sunday, I got an email from Maria who'd had a fever for three or four days running and continuing, and she very regretfully had to bow out. She was very sad to, to miss you all. And that was when I picked up the bell jar over the red phone, picked it up and pressed the button, and a phone in Brooklyn, New York rang, and a gentleman picked up that phone and said, when do you need me, Joko Cruz? And he was ready to go at an absolute moment's notice. It was, we're so thrilled to have him back. We don't mean in any way to say that he is any lesser or a second or third or fourth choice. I mean, we did just have him on the cruise last year, so we thought we would give him a rest. But no, the call came out and he answered. He is not the Maria Bamford that we wanted. But he is the Maria Bamford that Joe Pope's Cruz needs right now. Please welcome friend of Joe Pope Cruz, the very talented and very kind Josh Godleman. Hello, oh my gosh, what a pleasure to be here. Um, I just, I want to thank Paul for giving that um, incomplete list of comedians I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say, I, it, just in case anyone's curious, I'm also not John Mulaney. Uh, I'm not Chris Rock. Uh, not Wanda Sykes. Uh, but thank you so much for having me. And, and also, for stressing that I, uh, my calendar was empty. <laughs> <laughs> 